Are you hating that all of your friends are already level 60 in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Maybe you just want to level up that little bit faster to buy that weapon that you really, really want. Or possibly you are new to the Hunter Call of the Wild and you just need to know what you need to do to level up. Well, you have come to the right place. G'day, my name is Gruntly, and I am here today to teach you how to level up quickly. According to the Hunter Call of the Wild wiki, the hunting level refers to the level your hunter is in game. A player's level will determine what weapon he or she may use or the callers that they may obtain. You can increase your level by increasing the amount of experience your character has obtained. This can be done through harvesting animals, discovering outposts and points of interest, and completing missions. At the moment, the level cap is 60, with maximum skill and perk points capped at 22 each. With every new level reached, the player receives a point that they can spend on skills or perks. Skill points and perk points alternate, so with each new level reached, the player either gets a skill or a perk point. This is only true up until level 37. From level 37 onwards, the player only gets a point every three levels. Now that you know what your hunting level can do, it's time to get into how you can level fast. The first method, which is also my favorite, has to be hunting. You wouldn't believe it, but in this hunting game, hunting is the best way to level up your hunter's level. Who would have thought, right? There are a couple of ways that I know can generate boatloads of experience. The first way, would be to start a grind on an easy animal. For example, I was able to level up almost 20 levels whilst I was on my elk grind. Along with those levels, I was also able to add five diamonds and a rare elk to my trophy lodge. If you have the funds, I would definitely recommend that you start grinding an animal like a whitetail, an elk, moose, red deer, or anything you'd actually like. I will have a universal guide to starting up a grind uploaded very soon, so be sure to subscribe for that. A great way for a beginner to start generating experience and money is to start hunting herd animals with a gun that holds a couple of rounds. Animals that I find in herds very often include all bison species, water buffalo, elk, gemsbok, red deer, reindeer, wildebeest, wolves, and there are a couple of more, but these are the best species in my opinion. The reason why you should definitely hunt these animals with a weapon that can hold a couple of rounds is that you will be able to take out more animals from each group. When you partner it with a weapon like the 300 and a perk like muscle memory, which you can unlock really, really early, you are able to take out multiple animals in a herd very quickly. If you care about your need zones, don't take out more than three animals from each area. If you don't care, shoot to your heart's content. Moving on from hunting, exploring is another great way that you can level up quickly whilst exploring new reserves. I also really like this method because you don't really need a focus. I usually throw up a video from my favorite YouTuber whilst driving around the ATV to all the different lookout towers and outposts on the map. It's a very relaxing method that not only helps you level up, but makes hunting and doing missions much easier in the future. On your journeys, you might encounter a couple of collectibles around the reserve as well. These can give you a couple hundred XP every time you pick them up. They're usually found in the form of antler sheds or historical artifacts. When exploring, you should always find points of interest. And if you have the funds, buy hunting stands and ground blinds on your journey because they give you XP as well. It all adds up. For those of you who love objectives, missions are one of the fastest ways to level up. Some reserves like Leighton Lakes and Hirschfelden have stories partnered with a lot of hunting, but other reserves like Silver Ridge Peaks have missions that are very reliant on their storytelling. And all you really need to do is just get from point A to point B and you're rewarded with a lot of experience for not doing very much. The only downside though is that to play missions on a reserve, you will actually need to buy that reserve DLC. The good thing is though, all the missions in the game, with the exceptions of a few, are really easy. With all of these new skill points and perk points, you might be wondering what to do with them. Lucky for you, I have already created a video ranking all the different skills in the game, which you can click right here. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.